she's in there. Hopefully pushing them out. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale Podcast. <laughs> Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. Another vendor spotlight. At the penguins the only one with any character what you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, 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 right. I wasn't even recording because this girl took exactly 14 days from her prelay shed. But look at that. We've got some shiny eggs. It's egg time. Mama is active as heck after laying all those eggs. We're gonna get her a, uh, I took the eggs out right here. Baby. I'll put them in the incubator, but she's moving like crazy, so. Hopefully she'll eat for us later. We'll get a video of that. So since we have uh, some examples, we actually wanted to show you the difference when you candle. Um, we basically shine a light under the egg to look for the embryo so we can place it at the top so that it doesn't drown during incubation and in it's, you know, in the, in the egg. So Kenzie's going to show what the embryo looks like through candling. Get back and pick these up. I'm trying to be so careful. So if you see... It's kind of hard to see. That's a weak one. No, it's not. It's just right under the thing. Okay, under the check mark, you can kind of see a very light red thing. And those streaks around it are veins. That's the embryo. That's kind of a weak one. There are some darker ones there, but that's okay. Now, this egg, I'm you can kind of tell just, just looks different. No, we're going to put them oh. in anyway. This egg just looks different from the rest, right? But even when you, when you candle... No, no red spots, no veins. If you are a snake person, you probably know that this is a slug. If you are not, this is what's a, uh, what a slug is. We're gonna put it in here anyway and give it time like the other eggs and maybe a miracle happens and they <laughs> hatch anyway. But that's Mocha's eggs. That's Mama. I'm gonna give her some food later. She's active, like she's super crazy. Active. So she must be. She's really, hungry. She's excited to have her eggs out. Probably hungry. So she waited so long. Yeah. There's the proud daddy. He just ate, so I don't want to pick him up, but I did want to show him off a little bit. Our albino. Conda. Once again, there's mom. She ate for us pretty much um, immediately. Like uh, just a few hours after we got all of her eggs, we offered her some food and she ate. So feels like she's uh, getting back. It's normal. Hey everybody, so as you saw in the clips, uh, Mocha, our normal Conda girl, she laid eight eggs total. Six of them look really good. Two of them kind of look like slugs, um, but we're gonna incubate them again regardless. I will say we were a little worried. We we're starting to get nervous because she was on day 14 after her prelay shed. Um, and then we came to check on her and boom, they were all out. So very cool, we're excited. The babies, we think, or she's supposed to possibly be het albino. This will be a test, um, but otherwise they are both conda and the boy, Sunny, is an albino conda, so we should get a mix of condas, some super condas, and then if we get lucky, an albino conda, maybe an albino super conda. So yeah, we're really excited, and when the eggs hatch, you'll see those videos too, and you'll see the babies. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>